Natural disasters have deprived billions of people from social and economic gains, especially in the last 20 years. 2.6 billion people have been affected by these disasters in the last decade. More than 95% of all losses occurred in developing countries. Turkey is one of the most vulnerable countries to disasters, especially earthquakes. Another country with similar urban development challenges and high disaster risk is the Philippines. In particular, Istanbul and Metro Manila are both rapidly growing highly dense megacities facing high risk from severe earthquakes and flooding. Both countries whose development initiatives and investments are hampered by the devastating consequences of disasters are on a journey to reduce and manage disaster risk with support from the World Bank. The evolution of Turkey's disaster risk management system after the Marmara earthquake in 1999 and Turkey's leadership in implementing large-scale metropolitan risk reduction programs are applicable in many places of the world. In this context, a delegation of senior officials from the government of the Philippines came to Turkey to exchange experiences and strengthen the relationship of two countries facing grave risk. During the five-day visit, meetings and field visits were held between the delegation and the administrators in Istanbul and Ankara. The purpose of this visit is to support the sharing of knowledge and experiences between the government of the Philippines and the government of Turkey in disaster risk management. Both countries share a lot of similarities in the level of risk that they face, and both countries have taken enormous strides to address this risk, both countries in different ways. So we at the World Bank feel that we can facilitate knowledge sharing and exchange of the challenges, the lessons, and what has worked, what have been the successes, and what can be improved in both systems. Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, AFAD, is one of the leading institutions in promoting the institutional and operational capacity of Turkey. The Philippine delegation visited the presidency office of AFAD, which was founded in 2009 directly under the Prime Ministry and has achieved many successful operations, not only nationally, but also internationally. AFAD leadership shared information on the integrated disaster management system in Turkey, and the Philippine delegation shared the innovative catastrophe insurance program put in place by the government in July 2017. Afet ve acil durum bir koordinasyonu gerektiren, kurumlar arasında, bakanlıklar arasında bir koordinasyonu gerektiren bir konudur. Ve bizzat başbakanlığa bağlı olarak faaliyet gösteren Afet de bu koordinasyondan sorumlu kuruluş olarak sadece kendi başına yaptıklarıyla ya da yapacaklarıyla değil, diğer bakanlıkların yapması gerekenleri de takip etmesi, düzenlenmesi, hatırlatması gereken bir kuruluş olarak önemlidir. Ve bugüne kadar bu hizmetleri yürüttü, daha da yürüteceği çok konu var. This visit has certainly been very useful for us. In the case of Turkey, you have made it your national concern. You've lodged your AFAD under the office of the Prime Minister, no less. In our system, it's not like that. So it's, it's one key learning. So in the Philippines case, we are also preparing, but we need to upscale our efforts at helping mitigate the potential risks that we face. The Istanbul Seismic Risk Mitigation and Emergency Preparedness Project, ISMEP, is a flagship program on reducing seismic risk in Turkey, initiated with support from the World Bank. ISMEP, Turkey's first risk reduction project, is among the best practices in the world, and its implementation approaches and challenges provided much relevant information for the Philippine delegation as the country seeks to embark on a broad program for a disaster-resilient Metro Manila. The ISMEP project is the most important part of the country's country, the most important part of the country, the most important part of the country, 99 öncesi yapılan okul binalarının %90'a yakını güçlendirildi veya yeniden yapıldı. Ayrıca hastaneler, yurtlar, sosyal hizmet binaları, idari binalar gibi diğer kamu binalarıyla birlikte 1310 tane kamu binasının güçlendirilmesi veya yeniden yapılması e, tamamlandı İsmet projesinde. 
really learned a lot from the retrofitting, from knowing how to quickly respond to disasters, um, how we should have alternate routes, like we should monitor which um, roads are blocked so that it would be more efficient, the deployment of personnel and um, which people, which department should be engaged. We really thank that um, the ISMET program is there. I think we really learned a lot from it. The international collaborations facilitated with the support of the World Bank contribute to sharing knowledge and experiences about disaster risk management and helping the countries move toward a stronger, more resilient future.